Welcome to Project Design IO. In this video, I'm going to go through breaking capacity of the protected devices. Let's go through some basics. First of all, Project Design will do the breaking capacity check in a number of ways. The breaking capacity of every circuit protected device in the whole network is checked against the prospective fault current conditions at each point at which the device is installed. If the breaking capacity of the circuit protected device is less than maximum fault current at the particular point, then the error message will be displayed. And the fault current could be caused by either phase fault or an earth fault condition. So generally there is a requirement to ensure that the breaking capacity of each circuit protected device is equal or greater than the maximum prospective fault current at the point of installation. The breaking capacity is also known as interrupting capacity of a circuit protected device is the maximum level of a fault current the device can safely interrupt. So if the device is expected to interrupt fault current greater than is declared breaking capacity, it will not be suitable for that duty. So the breaking capacity described by symbol ICU within ProDesign is taken from the manufacturer's data at the nominal voltage of 400 volts, that's between phase to phase. Generally, circuit breakers have two braking capacities, ICU and ICS. Fuses, in contrast to circuit breakers, have generally single braking capacity. Okay, we can choose braking capacity of the selected circuit protected device in two ways. First way is to ensure that the protected device is fully rated for the maximum fault current. So the device must be equal or greater than the fault current. The second option is to have a cascade rated protected devices. ProDesign allows you to cascade rated CPDs and I'm going to show you how to do it. First, I show you a situation where you can't do it. If I click that cable here, 12,100, and go to protection, you see that the circuit protective uh, braking capacity, the only option available to me is fully rated. The backup protection, the cascade rated CPDs, that's not available. The reason why this is not available is because I've got generic protected device. What I'm also going to show you is I cancel this. If I go to distribution board and go to circuits, I go to any circuit and I go to protection, I can also only use fully rated devices. This is a problem because, let me just choose different circuit, not RCD. Right, let's check this one. So I go to protection. Again, I can't use the backup protected device. The problem is if the check is made against this standard, BSEN 60898, this device C is rated 10 kA. Sometimes when you calculate, you will have fault current of more than 10 kA. And without this option of the cascading protection, you basically fail your cable calculations. Unless you then do something about it, I don't know, increase the impedance by increasing the length of the circuit or something like that. The best option is to offer the backup protection. The backup protection is only available if you use upstream the same manufacturer's device. So let me show you how this works. So I'm going to cancel this, cancel this. And if you remember, final circuits from DB Kitchen, I could not use cascading. And for this, I couldn't also use cascading. I'm going to double click on the cable. I go protection. I change the protection from the generic into Schneider because the whole installation is using Schneider. NSX160F, that's 36KA rating, thermomagnetic trip. And I go for 125 amp and press OK. Look now. The backup protection is available to select. And if I select that, the upstream device, you see the 400 amp frame, 400 amp rated micrologic trip device upstream is offering me the cascade backup protection. So this is permitted under BS7671. 
It's called cascade breaking and it's only permitted if the manufacturer of the protected device is listing such an option within the range of the protected devices. That's why in ProDesign, this option is only available if that particular configuration is listed on the manufacturer's literature. Let me try to find that literature, show you example, one second. Right, I found the information. So this is the complementary technical information catalog from Schneider. Uh, I'm sure there's a newer version, but this one will do for the purpose of this demonstration. So let me just try to move this about. Right. Okay, so as you can see, the upstream device is NSX400N, right? NSX400N. My upstream device is NSX160F which is an SX160F. So the braking capacity of this device is 35 kA, but in that configuration, an SX400 type N with an SX160F, I've got reinforced braking capacity of 42 kA. This is the reason why in certain situations, ProDesign is not allowing you to select this backup protection. This is because such information is not available in the manufacturer's literature. And in this case it is, I can select that. Now let's just go to final circuit, this is just, just to show you an example. Any circuits really, but I'm gonna go to this one. If I go to protection now, now you see that previously the backup protection wasn't available. Now it is available in the upstream device is the NSX160 Type F, okay. I hope you find this video useful. This is actually a typical error, which happens all the time. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Cheers. Bye.